Hey there, welcome back to the Dev Channel. My name is Max and this is Max Codes. Today, I'm gonna show you how to use this CocoaPod animated tab bar, okay? So it's gonna be very simple. And if you already know how to use CocoaPods, then great. Just go ahead and use this CocoaPod. Link is in the description, all right? Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you where I've been for the past couple weeks because I haven't been making any videos, right? And the thing is, I've actually been making quite a few videos, just not for YouTube, okay? I've released a new course showing you how to use core data from the basics to advanced concepts, and that is available in the link in the description, and as a link in the description, and there's a coupon code attached to that that will give it to you for a discount, okay? So I'd go ahead and get that right now if you want. If you know Core Data, I don't know how much help it's gonna be to you, but there is a lot of UI kit in there and table views and inserting, core, injecting Core Data directly into table views. So if you wanna check that out, it's in the description and uh, there's a discount, okay? Now, I've also created a Slack channel for iOS developers, and right now it's free. I don't know if I'm gonna be using Patreon in the future and be charging for that, so I'd go ahead and join that But now before I make a decision on that, and I'm not just saying that to get you to sign up. I honestly do want you to sign up, obviously, but um, I might be adding that to a paid tier on Patreon, so I'd check that out now and get into it while you can, okay? Now, another thing is I'm making more courses uh, over the next couple weeks. One of those is gonna be a map kit course, an animations course, and a few more that I don't wanna talk about yet. But um, I'm gonna be putting some of the map kit videos here on YouTube, and uh, the course will just expand on it with more advanced concepts. And I'm also thinking about creating a Udemy course that I'm gonna give away for free, because I know Mark Moykins did something like that over at uh, whatever his channel is called, um, B Big Mountain Studio or something. Uh, I, I'm sorry if you're watching this and I forgot the name of your channel, but anyway, uh, I might be giving away a free Udemy course, uh, never charging for it kind of thing, or at least the first week might be free. I don't know yet. Anyway, what we're going to be doing here in this video is using animated tab bar. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to create a new Xcode project. And if you, hold on. Yeah. So let's create this. Let's just call it tab bar. And then what you're going you're gonna to want to do is while that project's generating, make sure you have CocoaPods installed, okay? So open up your terminal and basically you're going to want to type in like CocoaPods or something. I don't know if that's the command for it, but basically you're going to want to make sure you have CocoaPods installed, okay? And the way you can do that is by clicking on this link here in this GitHub page, which is also in the description, and uh, I'll take you to CocoaPods.org, okay? Now, in here, you can install CocoaPods by saying sudo gem install CocoaPods. Run that in your terminal. Just make sure you have CocoaPods installed and you should be good to go, okay? Now, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your project and we're gonna want to right-click on the view controller file and select show in finder. Or really, you should just right-click on the project and hit show in finder because you wanna be go going to here, okay? So right-click on the project and hit show in finder and you'll be brought to here, okay? Now this is our project folder and there's only two files here, okay? But as soon as we use CocoaPods, it's gonna, in, it's gonna generate a file called, po called pod file. Let's go ahead and do that now by going into here and basically dragging the project folder. So the folder that contains these. So if I go out, uh, sorry, if I go to code projects, you'll see I have tab bar here, okay? You're just gonna want to CD, oops. You're just gonna want to CD into that. So go ahead and hit CD in your terminal and space and then do that, okay? So just CD into your project in the terminal. And if you can't figure that out, then you're a fake developer. Just kidding. But just figure it out, get into your project here. And if you hit LS, you'll see those two files, okay? So you'll see tab bar and tab bar Xcode project, okay? Now go ahead and say pod init. And before you hit return, look over here because when you hit return, it's gonna generate a pod file, okay? Now in this pod file, we can basically put our uh, pods in there, okay? So if I go back to this, you'll see that we have pod animated tab bar. Go ahead and copy that, and it's important that you copy it instead of just write it in because that can cause errors with the ticks. So just copy that line, and let's go into the pod file by going back into our terminal. And you can either say like vim or do something like that. To keep it very simple so I don't confuse people, I'm just gonna open it by dragging it into Xcode here. Sorry, I'm not gonna do that actually. I just made it even more confusing. What you're gonna wanna do is just hit open with and then do something like text edit, okay? 
So you'll see this, and then now we can paste this in here, the animated tab bar. And then save that. Dang, why my computer being so slow though? All right, go ahead and close that. And we now have the pod file in there, or the pod animated tab bar. And we can now just say in here in our terminal pod install. And then we can get out of this little project folder. But you'll see if we click into here, it generates a Xcode workspace project, okay? So if we wait a second, I'll go back and show you how I got in here. Yeah, it generates the Xcode workspace. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do after this is installed is close out of the terminal and just double click on the Xcode workspace project and you're brought with this, okay? Now we can exit out of our project that we created at the beginning of the video. So just get out of that because now we're using Xcode workspace, okay? I'm just gonna get out of this too because it seemed to not work. I'm going to go into tab bar here and I'm going to open it with the Xcode workspace, okay? All right, there we go. Tab bar, view controller, and there we are, okay? So if none of that made sense, just go to the beginning of the video and just keep watching it until it makes sense because I covered all the steps and you should be able to figure it out just by watching the video a little closer if you didn't catch that all, okay? All right, so we're ready to go and we're good, okay? So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to go here to the GitHub page again, link in the description, and it looks like they don't have the uh, a tutorial or anything, uh, which is why I'm making this video, okay? And the way I figured out was just by looking through this example source code. And I went into one of the, yeah, I went into the example and then I went into the app delegate. That's where they set it up. You don't need to do all that. I'm just gonna show you how to do it, okay? I don't even, can't even find it here, okay? So I'm just gonna get out of animated tab bar here. And what we're gonna wanna do is go to our app delegate here and let's just import under UI kit animated tab bar. And then now what we can do is declare our items for the tab bar. Okay, so each one of our items, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is each one of our items, okay? It's got the icon and the text and the little dot. So what we're gonna do is say file private var items. And this is gonna be an array of animated tab bar items, okay? Now this is a little different than how they did it in their app delegate. They uh, didn't, do it exactly the way I'm doing it, but this is gonna be working better. Okay, I'm gonna make it a function that returns itself. So what we're gonna do is say let items or var items is equal to animated tab bar item. And then it's just an empty array, okay? And then what we can do is then return that items and we now have our items, okay? Now before we make the items, let's just set up everything in our did finish launching with options. So I'm gonna get rid of that comment and I'm just gonna say let controller is equal to, or I'll just say let tab bar is equal to animated tab bar controller, okay? So pretty self-explanatory, just the animated tab bar controller. And we're gonna have to set the delegate. So what I'm gonna do is say tab bar dot delegate is equal to self and then I'll comment that out uh, and we'll do that in a second, okay? Now what we can do is say window dot well, first we have to declare it. So we'll say window is equal to UI window. And then we'll say window dot root view controller is equal to tab bar. And if you don't understand this like window deal and all this programmatic setup of uh, not using storyboards, uh, I do this in like all my videos and I do it in all my courses and I explain it more in my courses. So if you want to learn more about this, check out the courses in the description or just check out more videos on my channel. You'll figure it out by watching my videos. All right, next thing we'll do is just say window.make key invisible. And we should be good to go, okay? Now what I wanna do is I want to just say tab bar dot well, what we'll do is we'll add an item and then we'll set the background color and see if everything's working, okay? But right now, if you've done everything I've done and you compile it, it shouldn't break unless mine breaks, okay? Your your uh, your project should be following the exact same kind of errors and warnings as mine, okay? Don't worry about warnings. And you'll see this error, no such module animated tab bar. Just wait a second as it compiles and that will go away. And I'll zoom through this right now because it's taking forever to compile. All right, I finally compiled. So this is what you should see. And we're ready to start adding items. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to go into here and let's just say, let, um, we'll, we'll declare the icon first, because it's going to be a lot of code, not a lot of code, but just it's going to get messy. So we'll say, 
let we'll just do do the item. So we'll say let item one is equal to, and we'll say animated tab bar item. And then we're going to be given this constructor for the icon. What you're going to want to do is just say UI image, or we'll use an image literal. So let's go to our assets and throw in some images. Okay. So what I want you to do, I'll grab them out of the project I made for this. So just ignore this, what I'm doing right here. I'm just going to grab some icons and these are in the description. Okay. So the icons are all in the description. I'm just going to toss them in there. And if you don't want to use icons, don't have to, if you want to use your own icons, you can, but just ignore this finder window because this is just from a different project. Okay. All right. So I have my icons again, those are in the description linked in the description. And the placeholder is actually like 30, this times one is 30 pixels. This one's like 60 or no, this one's 25. This is 50 and this is 75. And then the gear and the fave icons are actually a bit bigger. Okay. And I did this on purpose because I want to show you that the, how big they are is based on how big you make the icons in your assets folder. Okay. So you'll see that gear and the faves, they're both bigger than the, than the, uh, I don't know why I call it placeholder, the location icon. Okay like the map kit kind of looking icon, All right? You'll see the star and the gear are bigger than those. Okay. I don't know if that was necessary to explain, but if that helped you sick. All right, cool. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and I'm going to call this pin. I think that's a better name, pin gear and fave. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our code here. And for the icon, I'm just going to say image literal. So if I type an image, you'll see image literal and we can now double click that and we can select this image. Okay. So I'm going to select the pin, uh, like the map kit pin, and then the title is going to be map kit. Okay. And then the, for the controller, let's just put view controller. Okay. Now I'm declaring this view controller very clearly, just this view controller right here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is make the background color here in view controller swift, something like cyan, just to show you that it's, it's got a background color. Okay. So cyan and we're good to go. Let's go ahead and compile this. And it shouldn't do anything because we haven't really done anything with item one, right? So what we need to do is we need to append that to our item. So let's say, let's not compile it. And let's just say items.append item one. Okay. And if I compile that now, you're going to see that we have this inside of our items probably. Okay. We haven't done anything with the animated tab bar delegate yet, so it might not work. All right. Yeah. So it's not working yet. So what we need to do is implement the delegate. Okay. So let's go ahead and go down here to the bottom because we can't really write code above the UI application main declaration. So what we'll do is go down to the bottom here and outside of here, we'll just say extension of app delegate is going to be animated tab bar delegate. And if you command click an animated tab bar delegate, or let's see what show quick help does. See if they documented that at all nothing. But if we command click into jump into definition, you're going to see more of the internal workings of this cocoa pod, uh, which probably isn't going to make a ton of sense, but a lot of it looks pretty readable, but either way, you're going to see things like animated tab bar delegate and, uh, the functions that you have case okay, so you have tab bar and initial index. So we're looking more at the tab bar method. Okay. And the initial index. So let's go in here into our code. And what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to say number of items because that's one of the, uh, protocols variables, and we're just going to return items.count. Okay. So where is this items coming from? Right. And the items.count is coming from right here. Okay. So we're just going to count it up right now. It's just one. So it's just going to re return one to that. All right. So now what we need to do is conform to the rest of the protocol. I was just going to type them out, but we can hit fix and it'll add those two other methods. So again, these methods are coming from this protocol in here. You got these two methods and this number of items. So that's kind of how protocols work. But if we go in here, initial index, what we're going to want to, this is basically just which one we're selecting. So we want to return zero just because if we return one, it's going to crash because we only have one item. So if we did one, it would say items at one, which would crash the app because we only have one item. Like I just said, I don't know why I said that twice. Anyway, what we're going to do in here now is we're just going to return items at index. Okay. So we're just going to return whatever items at the index. Okay. Very simple, self-explanatory. Um, if that doesn't make sense and that explanation didn't make sense, let me know in the comments. Cause I really want to know like where I'm not explaining things right and where I can help you understand this more. Like if you don't understand what's going on here, let me know. All right, cool.
so nothing yet. Let's go ahead and let's go up to the top here and let's put in the rest of our items. And Okay, so the reason it's not working is because we didn't set the tab bar delegate. So let's go ahead and uncomment that and recompile the app. And then now when we go to the bottom, well, now when we wait for this to compile, you're going to see that we have our one item, okay? Or at least that's what I'm expecting. All right, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. like I haven't gone through this step by step yet. I kind of just copy and pasted some of the code I found in the repo into a project and that's how I got the initial project. This is the first time I'm really kind of going through it step by step. So sorry if that's confusing. All right, so we have the one item but we can't really change because we don't have any other items. So just keep it short and simple. I'm just gonna copy this item one and item one here, these two things. I'm gonna paste it, paste it and paste it. And we'll just say item two and item three and then rename these respectively, okay? So the appending. Item three, item two. All right, we're good to go. Now we can change the icon because we obviously have the icons, the different icons. But uh, yeah, we're good there. I'm just gonna say faves and I'll say settings because that's a gear icon. And then if you want to, you can create new view controllers with different background colors. I'm not gonna do that. I think you understand how to do stuff like that at this point. Um, really, all you do is create, go into your view controller.swift and make a couple more view controllers. If you want, I'm gonna keep them all as the same view controller, okay? So they're all gonna be cyan, or at least they should be. But yeah, if I switch between these now, you'll see that, okay? So really cool stuff, and that's how it works. Now, I'm gonna go into here to initial index and just say, two because it looks like the way this works is zero really isn't it. it doesn't really work the way an array works which they probably did for user experience kind of thing user being the developer but uh no it looks like they did because you'll see by default number two selected the third item that's how arrays work all right but yeah that's how that works and uh i hope you learned something if you didn't feel free to roast me in the comments but uh yeah, hope you learned something. Again, check out the courses and uh, let me know if you wanna learn other things. And another video I'm gonna be coming out with this uh, week is, is it this one? Yeah, this one. You'll see that, I'm coming out with that this week. I kinda delayed it because it's really a hard concept. Like this is really custom animation, but I'm gonna show you how to do that this week sometime, okay? So we'll see you in the very next video. Catch you next time.